Editing in Premiere has never been so much easier, thanks to one little something called adjustment layers. Adjustment layers helped me adjust my life to where I am now. We'll be teaching you the basics of adjustment layers and do three transitions that you can use with, you know, adjustment layers. Sit back, buckle your belts, buckle your seat belts because this is gonna be a wild ride. Let's go. All right, everybody, we have access to Premiere Pro right now, though Premiere Pro is glamoring with us glory or something. Ah. So yeah, this is the clip we'll actually be do. So yeah. Jake, how could you do this to me? You ate the rest of my double stuff Oreos with the cream at the center. <laughs> All right, that was fun. All right, so yeah, this is the clip we're actually be lording from today, actually. What I actually want to do though, is actually make a zoom in to actually all these clips though, actually, like a zoom in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where the adjustment layers is at. So if you click right down here to actually the bins folder, like right here though, you actually gonna see new item and boom, there's adjustment layers. And also here's, you can actually make new sequences, black videos, bar and tone, but we'll be doing adjustment layers today. So yeah, just click right here. And actually, you don't really have to worry about this so much though. I'm um, just kind of tell you to you about the settings, but you click okay. And you see right here though, it actually makes a new adjustment layer. So what you do next though, is actually gonna be dragging it out and bam, there we go. Adjustment layer though. I can help me adjust my life savings. So we can actually like, you know, put this in, put this out, in, out, in. So we're gonna be actually gonna put the adjustment layer actually towards the, actually like the end of the video clip though, because we were actually gonna be doing a zoom in transition or, no, or like a zoom in. So yeah, what you can actually do next is actually go to effects control and actually push the scale keyframe. Remember keyframe some last episode and boom, do this and Wait a minute, it's not zooming in. What the hell is going on here, Tommy? Fix it! So yeah, the problem is the adjustment layers doesn't work for the simple like, you know, um, effects control, but it does work for something else though. And something that you should be using a lot of. You can go into effects control and click on transform and bam, put it on here and oh, Bam, there we go. That was, that was that a delay reaction. Yeah, yeah. So what the transform layer does though, is actually it's actually a more refined version of actually the motion, like effects control on top though. Like you can do like different with skew right here. Look at that. You can do actually do actually do skew axis, which is actually controls actually the skew a little bit though. And also it does shutter angle, which actually is actually, um, we're gonna be getting into that like later though. So you click on scale and look at that. Look, it's actually, it's zooming in. So yeah, that's how to actually how to actually do like, you know, adjustment layers with actually the transform tool. So let's pick a timeline right here and actually gonna put it to like probably like 117 and bam. And if you see right now though, something happens. Check it out now, 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 now. Jake, how could you do this to me? You ate the rest of my double stuff Oreos with the cream at the center. <laughs> So what you see right there though, is actually it's zooming in, actually like, you know, like like throughout the, like the, um, the clips, there we go. Now you can actually nest this all together, but I rather actually use adjustment layers just in case if you actually wanna actually like adjust some of the clips though more, so. Yeah. No. All right. So we're actually back in Premiere Pro again, though. We're actually be doing a transition from me being depressed Trans as a mother fricker into that. I said transition. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. How are we actually be doing that though? Is actually to be going back to the adjustment layer. And what's cool about the adjustment layer though, is actually you can actually reuse it over and over again with them from the time. Look at that. All right though. So what we actually be doing though, is actually scrolling this back in the time though, readjust it though. So what we're gonna be doing though, is actually putting the adjustment layer actually over the two clips though, right here though, before, before we actually transition. So how to make this switch transition though, is actually to be actually like, you know, putting the adjustment layer, one, two, three, four, 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 four actually like, you know, for like left and one, two, three, four, four to the right though. And that will actually give you some like, you know, good speed with it though. Trend. So right here though. So make sure like the adjustment layer is actually four left and four right. So it can actually like center. So what effect we'll be using though is actually called the offset effect. It actually like puts the video clips together though and actually kind of makes this kind of like this cool transition like push or sub transition. So here is, so here is the offset effect. So here's the offset effect right now though. We got shift center and blend with or intentional or blend with or blend 
We don't really need to worry about blending with original though. You don't really need that that much. I don't really know why Stop I keep from it, but what you need to pay attention to is shift center two. And you're gonna put you're gonna put the timeline key to actually the end of the what? You're gonna push the timeline key to the end of the timeline, like somewhere right here. And actually click right here. Oh, click right here. Click right here. Thank you. And look what happens. Whoa, look at that. So it actually does simp like different copies of the video though. And that can make some like great transitions. So what we be doing though is actually gonna be pushing it a few like, you know, video layers like forward or backwards. I don't know. And actually try to center it towards the actually the, the, um, the box though. And we don't want to actually like, you know, push like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, too far or too to the left though. Or also will actually like orientate different. So line it up right. So line it up right here. So that looks pretty cool though. And you see right here now though, look at that. Trends. Not bad, but we're kind of, it's not really that great. So what we can actually do to fix it though, there's actually something somewhere to actually fix it. It's actually going to be actually doing the same thing we did last time. It's actually um, easy and this, where is it? Easy N and easy out that there we go and look at that so you see this transition is a bit more smoother but it's not smooth enough so what would we do and actually doing those actually to be actually coming down to actually to this arrow right here and actually click this though and what were we actually trying to do those actually try to actually like easy in and easy out it so we're actually gonna be making actually the keyframes actually like you know push it over down this way all the way to the max and also put the left weight the right actually towards like the same center right here and you get something very good boom that looks so much better actually though and what we actually did though is actually it's actually it's actually the fastest around the middle point and then actually slows down but we're not quite done we need actually a blur to actually set it up if you actually go to blur settings, it actually has like different types of blur. But what we need though is actually the Gaussian blur. So let's click that right there. And again though, we're actually gonna be actually um keyframing this though. And make sure the Gaussian blur is actually like horizontal. Wait. And make sure the Gaussian blur is set to horizontal though and not vertical. So yeah, so what we do in those actually oh, whoop. So let's actually put a keyframe right here. Boom, that's kind of a good blur and a keyframe out. So let's click that. Click that. Also click this arrow though to actually go back to the original keyframe though, right to the center right here. So yeah, look at that. Trend. Okay, not bad, but we still need one more though, Axie. It's actually gonna actually light up the offset keyframes, like the ease in and ease out to actually the Gaussian blur. So again, make sure to actually like, you know, make so to go to bizarre or like do easy and ease out. I usually got to pick Bosier a lot though, but yeah, click down here again. So actually push actually the keyframe to the left actually to like, you know, like all the way and also to the right and towards the center though, actually push the keyframes like inwards and actually make this like, you know, big steep, like a roller coaster. Ah, uh, let's go. And final results. Boom, that looks so much better. And now you're done though, Axie. So, oh God, ah, oh God, my God. Oh, what you can do is actually like maybe expand the adjustment layer out just a little bit though. If you want to make your transition a bit longer, don't make it too long or else it's going to be kind of like, you know, ruin the illusion. All right, everybody. The next transition that we'll be actually doing next though is called a troll transition though. So this is actually used for a lot in transitions also. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it with adjustment layers. It's really adjusting my life right now. All right, again though, we're actually to be pulling the adjustment layer from we, we made actually over here. And actually, we're gonna actually trim it down a little bit though, actually right now. Now what we're actually be doing though is actually gonna be actually going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven frames to the left, seven frames to the actually the right. And what we're actually be doing next though is actually doing a new effect called the Replicate, rep, 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 replicate. So what the replicate tool does though, and it actually replicates the actually the video layer that that is actually on nine. So it can do a lot of stuff with the replicate tool though. But we're we actually going to three today though, and we don't really want this hard edge actually in the in the um. Huh? 
video that we'll be doing for the transition though. So we're gonna actually be putting like like mirrors on it though to actually like, you know, help it actually like, you know, be more smooth. We're actually gonna be putting a mirror from the top, bottom, left and right. There we go. Go right here. And connect and also connect the mirrors though actually towards the actually the edge of actually the the video clip though right here and do, towards left though we're actually to be actually going to like you know um 180 degree 180 degrees right here and actually towards the axis the right though as actually going to be doing actually stay to zero though and actually like you know go right here and finally the top portion though is actually we're gonna and for the top layer though, we're actually be going to negative 90. And boom, all of it acts as actually like, you know, mirrored though. Now, the reason why we're actually doing the replicate tool though, is because though we don't actually, when doing the troll, we don't want to actually see those black bars though when we're actually black. flipping the layer or what we call the flip transition though, but I call the troll. We don't really want to see the black bars and this will help actually eliminate actually like, you know, the black bars though. We're actually zooming in into the clip. So what we'll be doing next is actually putting another adjustment layer to the top though, or we can actually just duplicate it though, but I'm just gonna do like do that though, because I'm I'm a savage. Wow. And actually again, go to the transform tool again. Yes guys, again, again, did I say again? Yes, again. So what we'll be doing, be actually doing though, is actually scaling this up though, to actually 300, because 300 is actually the sweet spot for all this though. So there we go. So what we'll be doing though is actually gonna be going to the rotation tab, go to the end of the timeline again or close though. I usually kind of go to close and actually putting it back and then actually type 360 degrees and boom, we get this like, you know, quick little like, you know, transition, but it does not look good. It looks like shit. So, all right, we got our keyframes in now. Now it's actually time to bizarre it though. Bizarre, bizarre. There we go. So yeah, so what we're doing though is actually doing the same thing we did what we did previously though. It's actually easy in the out and wait, the end and easy out the beginning. So there we go. And what we're actually be trying to achieve though is a little bit different from the swoosh transition. It's actually kind of make this actually we're actually be leaving a little bit of space, although actually in the middle though, right there, there we go. And you get something like this though, not actually as peaky as before, but you get something like this though. So yeah, let's check this shit out, I guess. All right, that looks actually pretty good though. So I think we did a pretty good job. All right, little kitties. Now it's time for our final transition that we'll be doing today in this episode of stuff. We'll be actually doing the zoom in transition. So let's get started already. All right, we're here. Oh my God, that is so attractive. Hey, Tommy, I love you so much. I love you so much. Positive outlooks, positive face. All right, though. So what you can actually do, though, is if you already did the troll to just the troll transition in your projects though, you can actually alt click this though, or alt like drag or alt, put alt, put, put alt in your keyboard. There we go, sorry, sorry. Though, because actually with the zoom in transition though, you'll actually be using the same actually like, you know, effects for the, from the actually the troll transition. So yeah, the reason why we actually like copying the replicate tool though, is actually the zoom in transition though, is actually, if you actually don't though, you'll get some black, black bars though, and we don't really want that. So again, what we'll be doing again though, is actually dragging the adjustment layer again from the bin. All right, so how we actually be adjusting it right now is actually going five to actually the right. So one, two, three, four, five right here, boom right here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, act right here though, and actually got it right on the first try. Hell yeah, no editing required right there, hell yeah. So we'll be actually using the transform tool yet again, and actually clicking scale on the keyframe though, and actually going to 300 towards the end right here to actually line it up though. And you get something, something like this. Okay. A little bit too slow though, but we're actually fixing it with actually Shuttle, shutter, and fuck that! Shuttle angle! Okay. What we actually be doing next though is actually going down to Bazaar again with the keyframes. Then afterwards, we'll be actually pulling the keyframes in again though to actually reach his peak in the center. And then we're actually be adjusting it just real quick though. And boom, you'll get something, something like this though. Now let's play. Thank you for watching. Just, uh, 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 uh. There we go, boom, that was pretty good. 
All right, though, and that's how you actually make a zoom transition. All right, everybody, though, we have finally reached the end of the tutorial. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, there we go. You don't know how many fucking takes I have to do for this, like, tutorial, though, my god. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, though. Hope you understand more about what adjustment layers are and hope you use them for your, like, projects. I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe, and bye-bye, everybody. My voice and suing voice.